Ann Simone from Core Strength Pilates and every day of December I'm going to give you a different exercise to help you bring on 2018. Day 13 is the clam. So for the clam we need to be in a side lying position. We're going to come right down onto our mat with our arm extended underneath our ear. Both shoulders stacked on top of each other and both hips are stacked on top of each other. So there's no dropping in the hips or the shoulders either direction. Belly button is gently drawing back, pelvic floor is lifted, and we are pushing that top hip away. So we're trying to make that waistline nice and small. Bend your knees forward, and you will end up with your feet roughly in line with your spine. Okay, so they should be back a tiny bit. Try not to bring them too far forward. Try not to have them too far back. Somewhere in the middle there. Okay. So you can have this hand sitting wherever is comfortable. It can be here, it can be in the air. You can even take it down to the floor. But the belly button is back. Everything's connected before you start pushing that top hip away. And then we just open the top knee and then close it back down. Belly button gently pulling back and slowly squeeze those legs together again. Open and close. Now you can make this one a little bit more challenging by taking the feet just off the floor, but the feet now should be, again, in line with the spine. So you don't want to have your feet up too high, just in the middle between the two hips. So here you would open and close. Legs or feet are nice and still. The hip as well sits right up on top through the whole movement, whichever place you put your feet. The hips stay nice and still. You want to make sure that you don't drop backwards each time because that's going to put a lot of pressure into your back and your hips. And the other thing you want to try and avoid is being in this position. I see a lot of people do this exercise and think they're so comfortable here. But generally that tightens up the lower back here and you can't really get that correct alignment of the spine. So this position here is not a good way to do this exercise. Another option or a modification for that same exercise, if you can't lie down on your hip, would be to do it standing. So you want to stand up nice and tall, and then you're going to take your leg up just as high as you can, and you can use a wall or a chair to help you balance, but that leg is then going to come out to the side just as far as you can go, and then bring it in. It's really important that the supporting leg here doesn't twist, so don't follow with your body Getting that flexibility through the hips is what we're trying to do here. So slowly open and slowly back in. Belly button gently pulling back and keep lifting out of the hips because you don't want to sink down into that supporting leg at all. Out and in. Out and back in. So if you've got any questions, message me or comment below. Good luck.